few of you have been missing my vlogs, so I decided to vlog this weekend. I've actually tried to vlog a lot of times over the past few months, I guess, but all the clips that I shot were just so random and it didn't cohesively fit into one single video. So I thought I would make more of an effort to actually have some sort of storyline going on in this vlog. I am going to set you guys on the ledge here. Hopefully you're okay. I am in my little beauty room closet, as you can see. This is what I've turned into basically my makeup storage and getting a ready area. That said, excuse the mess here because there's just uh, no particular rhyme or reason to how things are organized quite yet. I do like the look of the Muji drawers though. I think it's just a really nice clean aesthetic. I like being able to see all of my makeup. Um, but anyway, today is Friday. I went home early today and uh, not super early. I just went home a half an hour earlier than usual. I was pretty busy today. This past week, these past couple of weeks have been quite busy for me work-wise and also wedding planning wise. On a side note regarding the wedding planning and stuff, I will share some of the wedding planning with you guys and also obviously different aspects of, of my wedding. We're having a very small wedding, it's small to me, it's only 40 people including ourselves and um, we're having it at a small venue. It's just going to be a really nice intimate kind of vibe. Anyway, with respect to the wedding planning, I will try to do a separate video on it. Um, if you guys have any specific questions about wedding related things and please let me know in the comments below so I know kind of what to talk about in that video and what to share with you guys. I'm waiting for the Bo to get home. I think I just heard him actually and then we're gonna have some dinner and then do some errands and I'm going to get my eyebrows done. So the Sephora closest to me has um, one of those benefit uh, brow bars so I am gonna get my brows done there. We're on our way to Sephora, but before we get there, we um, have to make a stop at FedEx because the bow has to return something. So that's what we are. I opted to stay in the car just because it's a lot more comfortable to sit in the car rather than stand in line at FedEx. You know what? While we're here waiting for the bow, let's talk about my eyebrows. So like I said, I'm going to Sephora to get them done. This is the before shot. Um, for the most part, I have pretty full brows. They kind of have a straight shape to them. I don't really know the terminology for eyebrows, but I don't have a high arch. I just prefer this look. So I'm not going to go for a drastic change or anything. I just want to get them cleaned up a little bit. I was debating whether to get them tinted or not. I really don't need to, but it's always just fun to get your eyebrows tinted. Uh, so I'll decide that when I get there, but this is a quick before look of my eyebrows. <laughs> finished at the mall. I got my brows done. I'll show you guys a better look at them when we get to Menchi. Okay, this isn't the best lighting and my forehead is like an oily mess, but this is what my eyebrows look like. They just essentially look a little bit more polished and tidy and I did have them tinted a smidge darker. We're home now and I came home to the most awful news that I have to renew my sticker for my car and it now costs $108. I don't know if I made the same gripe about the same time last year, but it just keeps going up in price and I think that's crazy because when I first started driving it was probably only 70-ish dollars. Now it's $108 per year and you need to have it Otherwise, you can't drive your vehicle. Well, you could, but you'd get a fine if you were pulled over by the police. Um, I did pick up some things at Sephora while I was there. I will show you guys probably in a haul video once all of my purchases come in, because I did place some orders online too. Um, but in store, I picked something up yesterday, and then while I was there today, I picked up a couple more things. Today, I picked up the Sephora Crease Shadow Brush. This was recommended by Marnie from Miss Gold Girl, and uh, I was kind of wondering about the quality of it because it didn't have they didn't have any testers of it. But she said it was a nice brush, and I do need a, a little bit of a fluffier crease brush, so I picked that up. And then I also am a sucker, and I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin. So I'm gonna try this out and the Bare Minerals one and I will let you guys know which one is better. Good morning, it's Saturday right now. I'm standing in front of our front door because it's 
really bright here. But uh, if you can hear that in the background, Bo is making me a latte. Um, it's Saturday morning. We have a couple of errands to do this morning. We have to go to our wedding venue first thing this morning when they open because we have to talk about setting up and decor because I don't know, they, they didn't double book, but they have something going on during the day, which means that it shortens the time for our decorators to get everything ready. Anyway, it's kind of a headache, but we're gonna sort it out this morning. And then tonight, we're going to one of our friend's birthday parties. They're having it in a pretty interesting place. I will tell you guys about where we're going later on because I actually have no idea. I just know it's in Thornhill or something like that, but we're doing that later tonight, but that's not until eight. So later this afternoon, I want to go to Holt, Holt Renfrew on Bloor Street because I want to pick up a couple of things from Charlotte Tilbury. That's the only counter that they have in Canada right now. And I also want to pick up some shoes potentially. So we'll see. This ledge is quite handy. I can just set you guys on there. Um, I am finished getting ready. Well, for the most part, I took a shower, got dressed, and uh, now I'm going to go do my makeup. Okay, my dad's downstairs right now, um, talking to the bow, so while he's doing that, I'm gonna quickly do my face. I am not gonna do a full face, really, um, I'm gonna wait till we get back from doing our errands and then do a full face. I'm going to use two different concealers to see which one is better. So, I mentioned yesterday that I picked up the Naked Skin, uh, what is this, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer, so I'm gonna use this. And I'm also going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. That is really confusing. They're very similar names. Anyway, um, so I'm in Medium Golden with the Bare Minerals, and then I got Medium Dark Warm with the Naked Skin. So Medium Dark Warm is actually a little bit warmer than uh, Medium Golden. I don't know if I should have gotten the medium dark neutral, but I feel like the warm is a bit better for my skin tone, but nonetheless, this is what they look like. If you have not tried the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, you, you have to because it is amazing. And that is all I'm going to do. I'll probably put on a lipstick, but is my face okay we are currently at our wedding venue how does my concealer look right now we're having lunch right now at montana's uh, we got a coupon in the mail and um it was essentially chicken dine for 24.99 so we both got a rib combo <laughs> I just dropped the bow off to get a haircut because he said he wanted to get a haircut this weekend. Um, but I'm home and I'm so full. Can you believe we got all that food for $24.99? But anyway, I am here trying to decide if I'm gonna change for our shindig tonight or if I'm just gonna wear the same thing that I have on right now and also what to do with my makeup. Let me tell you guys really quickly where we're going tonight for our friend's birthday. It is called, it has a really long name, it's called the Elite Grand Restaurant and Banquet Hall. So it's in North York, I believe. So here is just a look at their website and uh, I believe they're on Finch somewhere. So let's see, contact us. Um, yeah, so they are located on Finch and Dufferin. Yeah, that's where we're going, but we're not actually eating dinner until 8. On a side note, how is my concealer holding up? So this side was the Bare Minerals, this side was the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and to be real with you, I think they look fairly similar. I don't really, I can't definitively tell you that one side is better than the other, or one side is worse than the other. They kind of just look the same to me, but you can let me know if you can tell the difference. Hello, I have washed my face as you may be able to tell, and uh, I just put some moisturizer on. I'm using the Clarins uh, Beauty Flash Bomb, and uh, now I'm gonna do my makeup. But I wanted to mention to you guys that I have decided to return my Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder. I posted a haul last week 
or on the Thursday. I don't know. I'll link it somewhere below in the corner. Anyway, it was a Sephora slash MAC haul. So if you saw that, you'll know that I picked the um, strobe lighting powder up in Euphoric. And I have decided just now actually that I'm going to return it because it is really, 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 really similar to the Luminous light um, ambient powder. It's just not as, I would say, the effect isn't as dramatic with the luminous light, but I mean, in, they have a similar tone. So I kind of think it's redundant to have both, but also I picked up a different highlighter to replace it. So I picked up the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance highlight powder. I actually have no idea what it's called, but it's essentially the baked highlighter from Laura Mercier because it is so stunning on the skin. I got that instead of this. So I'll be returning this one. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would mention that because I did haul it and I do really, really like this powder. If you don't already have luminous light and also if you're looking for just a really nice, subtle, um, sheen on the skin, then I would highly recommend picking this up. I might even pick it up again eventually, but just right now, I really don't need it in my collection. It's a bit redundant, but I thought I would mention it because I did haul it, so that's just a little update. Then getting ready so this is the finished look let me turn this down it's a little too bright um so as you can see I'm pretty much wearing a very natural look it's just kind of like a bronzy not even a smoky eye it's just a really neutral eye um, and then I switched to just a plain um, white sleeveless top and a blue blazer and I'm just wearing jeans and probably some Chelsea boots we're on the road now. We're heading um, to, I think we're gonna go to Ikea first and then Holt Renfrew and then where we're going for the birthday party. But uh, I forgot to put on a lipstick before I left the house. So I was thinking, I was looking in my bag to see if I had one and turns out I have six just lurking around in there. Does that happen to you guys? You just hoard lipsticks in your makeup bags? Does that happen to you? All the time. All the time. So I'm going to just put on the hourglass lipstick in fresco and then maybe change it up later with a deeper color. We're at Ikea right now and uh, we're picking up a gift for our friend and they also happen to have some roughing stuff. So. Successful trip to Ikea. Um, we went in, well we got everything that we went in for and then some. And the checkout was smooth. Yeah, the like, checkout was really good. Every single other time we've ever been to Yeah, that's trip. usually our gripe with Ikea is the checkout lines, but it was pretty good. Um, so we managed to get some gift wrap, or actually it's a gift bag, to put our gift in. So it was a pretty successful trip. So now we're going to Holt Renfrew. So we just parked, um, we're on Spadina at Bloor, and I was just thinking to myself how long it's been. It's pretty chilly. <laughs> Okay, I was at the Charlotte Tilbury counter for five minutes and I ended up with two lipsticks and a powder and a lip liner. Now I am on my way to check out shoes. So they didn't have the shoes that I wanted. I want the Louboutin Decolette in 85mm, but they only had the 100. Long track back to our car. But uh, while I was at the Charlotte Tilbury counter, I swatched, swatched the eyes to mesmerize. Um, so I'll show you guys what colors I have on my hand. I, I really like them. I might order some online. We're back in the car now. We're heading to the um, restaurant. I'm a little bit peeved because well, one, they didn't have the shoes that I wanted at Holt Red Group, but they, I did see one of the pairs that I wanted at David's Shoes, David's Footwear, but uh, they were closed. But I could see them in the window, which made me want them even more because they were just, just out of reach. But uh, anyway, I'll show you these up close and uh, you guys can tell me what you think. So these, again, are the um, Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. So going from, I guess, left to right, so we have Mona Lisa, which is that darkest shade. Jean, which is like a pale, um, pale champagne shade. Then Bet or Betty, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, which is that gold, gold bronze. And then the last one is Marie Antoinette. This is the first time I've ever swatched them, and they definitely look a bit different in person than online. 
So yeah, I mean, they're nothing special, but I kind of still want to get one. Okay, we're at the restaurant now. It is so weird. It's in such a weird location. It took us three years to get here, but we're here and this is what it looks like. Okay, so we're here and we're the first people here and <laughs> at one point we were wondering if we got punked because it's, I feel really underdressed now. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean in a second but I'm wearing jeans and I don't feel like I should be wearing jeans. <laughs> but it's such a strange crowd and a, a weird atmosphere. goodbye now because I've had a little bit to drink this evening <laughs> that restaurant was it was really fun sorry we're in the car so it might be bumpy it was really fun but there was so much food I don't know how Russians do it but there was just so much food and it just kept coming and there was just so much of it but it was all good it was all quite interesting and uh, we had a lot of fun, wouldn't you agree, Boo? Yeah, super fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. So I just wanted to say good night and thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it's been a while since I vlogged, but I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.